Welcome to uploading your completed website using file transfer protocol. I'm David Smuha and I'm your tutor. The first thing you're going to have to do before uploading your completed website is to make sure that your website folder location remains the same as you specified it when you were defining your site before you built it. You also have to ensure that your server is configured to host your site and that you have your file transfer protocol username. You need this username and this password to populate the fields in the FTP program window. The first one that will come up is the server and in this case, the example that's on the screen now, the server is smoothie.com and then depending on how yours is configured, you'll have a username and mine in this case was ftpsmoothie.com and then there's a password, which of course here is a fake so that you can't go and upload stuff to my site. And there's different pathways. In this example, I have the path HTTP docs. But you need to populate this field, and the, we're looking at yummy software on screen right now, but you need to populate this field, get those things right, so that you can then get access to your server to populate your server with your website. And successful login, to the FTP interface will show you the files on the server on one side, in this example it's on the right, and the website files on the other side of the computer. With the website files in one column for uploading to the website server, click synchronize button and the file transfer protocol program will analyze and compare the files on your computer and it will display them like you see them now on screen in a list showing a list of files that needs to be uploaded to the server. Click that and the blue progress bar in this case on the yummy software shows you the progress of the actual upload. And before you know it, the dialog box shows you the upload is complete. Then you can close the FTP application and you can go and visit the website that you've just uploaded. It's a pretty exciting process and it's pretty simple too. Thanks for watching. I'm David Smoopart.